just beyond the May 31st deadline? And is there any advantage to you? Because if you go past that deadline, they're obviously going to be, the Republicans are going to have to be at the table. And votes. We're inviting them to be at the table right now. It just kind of shared sacrifice in the sense that they'd have to actually be on. We're proposing, we, we want to cut the governor's budget. We're asking, and they proposed that they want to cut the governor's budget. So we should have some commonality here. Let's go on the floor and vote to pass the cuts. Senator Rodonio has said that the concept of keeping contracts closed is a bad one that you gotta, you know, take the unions to the mat. What, is, should that play any role? You know what? You ask the, my only point that? is that it's not within the purview of the General Assembly. It's she's proposed opening contracts, going back to court, and opening up consent decrees. Fine, but we don't do that. It's the governor's office that would have to do that. So, and the constitutionality uh, issue that's up to the courts, and that's why I would say uh, I wouldn't block a vote on bills that I think are unconstitutional. I'm just not going to vote for them. Should the governor seek to open negotiations and union? Well, contracts? I think I think he did already try to try to do that, and he's welcome to do it again. If the Republicans won't play ball in terms of the Democrats proposed cuts, do you think you can get those through to the, the Senate with all Democratic? Votes? I have no idea. I have no idea. It's going to be very difficult. So you might need their votes then to even get the cuts that you guys. Well, have I can't imagine Senate. that they would want to vote against cuts when they've already proposed. So many of themselves. They voted against funding the pensions today, though. So, I mean, some of them did. Some of them did, yeah. but most of them did not. Procedurally, when you come back and deal with these separate budget bills, what happens if, you know, through amendments here and there, uh, together they add up to more money than you have available? Well, that would be over appropriating, and we're trying to avoid that. Right. And that's what, you, uh, it, well, and that's why. We then have to deal with the House, and we have to work with the House on uh, negotiate with them, apparently even on revenue estimates as well as what the cuts are. Should Quinn be part of these negotiations? Well, the governor obviously is uh, going to be necessary to, uh, to sign these, these bills. He's more than welcome to. And we've been meeting with the um, Bureau of the Budget to talk about where there could be cuts. Uh, you know, that's why I, uh, when he first introduced the budget, we had to take some time to see exactly if it was balanced or not. And it took us some time to do that, and we have determined that it's not. Do you consider the governor's other ideas, for instance, school consolidation, closing regional offices of education, are those basically dead? Well, let's just focus on the budget today. Because this is maybe one or two more questions. So. The speaker has said that, that he could, or that he and the Senate, or the House Republicans and combined with the Senate Republicans could outvote you in a conference committee on the revenue we don't have to necessarily even talk about conference committees. We have, we're passing Senate bills to the, to the to the House, House bills to the Senate. We can add amendments and have people decide to concur with amendments. We're, we're, we have an extremely well, you know, cooperative relationships between the House and the Senate on everything, and that's going to continue on the budget. So does that mean then? You could just refuse, or you're not looking to go down that route. I mean, you. We we that. have to pass a budget. We have to. If the if we don't authorize the governor to spend any money, you know, the government would shut down. So we're not going to do that. We're going to pass authorization just like we did today. We're 20 percent of the way there. Right, but you you, you could just block a conference committee for half. Of well, both both this House and the Senate could block conference committees. Right. We're going to have to pass a budget, and this is just a normal process of passing legislation. So his, his threat is not really any good. I had never heard the speaker threaten. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we need to wrap Thanks. it up. Thanks for coming. Thank you.